Alright guys, hello there. Um, this is Mark again from Pine Martin Airsoft. And today I'll be re reviewing the KWA Mark II PTP. Alright. So, just to let you guys know, I haven't yet fielded the gun I'm going this weekend. I'll probably post up a video telling you how it, how it did out there, because I'm going to a field game. So, hopefully, I can tell you how... How it, how it did out in the field. Anyways, start off. We got the box here. Standard KWA box. I mean, it's nothing special. It does look nice though. Nicer than most boxes that are just black or have a little name on it. <clears throat> All right. So when you open the box, you're gonna find a user's manual. Inside, you're gonna find a sticker. Right here, KWA sticker. On the gun, you're gonna find a genuine KWA little seal thing. Not really seal, but whatever. And then you got your manual right here. Pretty much tells you everything you need to know from taking care of your gun, cleaning it, parts. You get a warranty coverage card, like tells you what's covered and what's not in the warranty. And you get your warranty card send it in or you can just go to their website and register online which is probably faster so you're also going to get a little tube of silicone oil to lube your gun I don't know if it's silicone but I'm pretty sure it's silicone oil anyway a small bag of BBs a hop up adjustment tool and a barrel adjustment tool I think that's what this is alright so I'm just going to put all this back in here there something's going off Alright, so, box out of the way. Oh, and you're also going to find the gun, but I already took it out. So, here's the gun. Alright, so, sorry about that. Cameras is running low on battery. So, this is the Mark II PTP. Um, comes in black or tan. I picked up the black one. Um, there, the, there are four guns in the Mark series. The Mark II. Mark 1, Mark 3, and Mark 4. Um, I was going to go with the Mark 4 initially, but I decided to go with the Mark 2 1 because that's all they had. The shop that I went to, well, that's all That's all they had of these. Either the 2 or the 4. And uh, <clears throat> down the iron sights right here, you can see that there's three painted dots, one on the front, two on the back. Um, the Mark 4, only the back two are painted, which was a little awkward, so... Picked up this one. So, got a skeletonized trigger, skeletonized hammer. Um, safeties on this gun. There's standard safety. You got your beaver tail safety right here. Can't shoot unless you hold this down. And you got your half cock safety. Won't shoot if it's half cock. Beaver tail. Right there. <coughs> and trademarks. Uh, Mark II Professional Training Pistol, you got a serial number, US, and then you got made in, t or manufactured in Taiwan. On the other side here, you got KWA, W, why did I say W, WA, sorry, got a little bit of JD rubbing off on me, and then Cal 6mm. Uh, Alright, so, hand guards, pretty comfortable, they're black. On the back, you got a little bit of texture right here. Uh, help grip. You got a lanyard. A little loop right there. Um, sorry. On some of the other uh, Mark Series guns, there's a wraparound grip, like on the Mark IV. And I'm pretty sure the Mark III. I'm not, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Mark III. Um, there's a, the whole grip wraps around. I got the one where the grips do not wrap around because I like the feel of it better. Uh, <coughs> iron sights. Uh, the Mark IV and the Mark II have this lower rail. Um, I tried to fit, like, an M4 grip on it just to see if it would, and it, it won't fit, so I don't know what kind of rail this is. But, yeah. So, the, uh, the, hold on, let me turn this back really quick. <coughs> Put the mag in. I'll go over the bag in a second, but... Alright, this is really awkward to do with one hand. Alright, so, got the gun cocked back. We got a polymer inner barrel. 
or outer barrel, metal inner barrel, sorry about that. Um, this orange tip is painted on, you probably could scrub it off with some alcohol or nail polish remover, but I'm not going to do that because uh, I just want to keep it looking like it is. Um, we got the slide lock right here, and <coughs> nice clack sound when you do that. So the full uh, body is metal, except for these grips and the inner barrel. That's the only plas or plastic pieces, I guess, but the barrel is a high-grade polymer, so it's not going to break on you. Um, <coughs> so mag release is not ambidextrous, but the, I forgot to say that the, <coughs> the safety is. Um, mag comes out really smooth, which I like. Really nice and smooth. So, <clears throat> now that I have it out, let's go over the mag. This is a 14 round single stack magazine. Has no trademarks on it. Sorry about that noise in the background. If you can hear it, I'm not sure if you can. But, uh, there's no trademarks on here except for a little ma manufactured in Taiwan thing up here. That's, if you count that as a trademark. This is using KWA's new NS2 gas system, which means that the gas is going to... I mean, they can get more mags out of gas. This uh, will hold two mags full of gas, so it's pretty nice. Uh, you got your little mag eject or gas ejection button right here. Put in the gas from down here. Little center hole. Uh, yeah, it has a nice plate on the bottom. It's a polymer plate. And to load, you just pull down the spring. And once you got it loaded, push a little button right there. And it will shoot back up. You're ready to go. Um, uh, one thing about the mag is... <clears throat> If you get your, if you have your gun and your mag starts to rattle, mine is not rattling right now because I fixed it. There's a cylinder in here, like a gas expansion or some tube thing. I don't remember what it is, but it's part 131 in the manual, so you can look at that. And that piece will come loose sometimes, and all you have to do is unscrew the space plate, poke out these two holes right here and right here, and get in there, take off the plate and put the push the cylinder back into position um, for me it's worked I don't know if it's permanent but yeah for right now it is um, forewarned putting this back on is like horrible it you have to push so hard and put the pins in so yeah um, back to the gun um, Overall, this gun is a really solid gun. I'm really impressed with it. The feel. Uh, it's very accurate. I'll do an accuracy test later. I need to go pick up some green gas, but... Uh, it's very, very accurate. Um, <clears throat> uh, here, I'll show you how to guys had a field trip just to lube. So, I'll try and do this maybe with two hands really quickly. Alright, so, you're going to want to pull the slide back. Uh, remove magazine first. So, you don't want to really lay this down here. So if you can see this. Alright, so you're going to want to pull the slide back. Uh, there's a small hole right here on the mag. Uh, you're going to want to stick the, the slide lock in that hole. Once you got it in there, you're going to want to push out Hold on, you gotta get it perfect. It's sort of annoying, but oh well. Right there. Push out. I don't think it even came out that time either. Alright, so. It's a very, very complicated test. Taking apart a magazine. Or a gun, sorry. Uh. Right there, slide lock. Come on. Uh, this gun is very annoying. I've done it time so so it's like field stripping a real one 
you pull this pin out right here, take the gun, pull the slide off, and you can lubricate it as you need. If you're using green gas, it's going to stay pretty lubed, so you, you don't need to do it as much, but if you're not using green gas, yeah, you want to do that. Slide it back on, back, put the little pin back in, get it into position again. Once again, you're going to want to put it back into position. Uh, match it up with the little hole, and let it go, and you're ready to go. Alright, so, uh, authentic, or real steel weight, approximately, uh, real steel disassembly, so this gun is a training pistol, it is meant for training, uh, this gun was, a, is, uh, regularly $165, so, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's a bit pricey, but, no, if it's gonna work, it's gonna, it's gonna do the job. Uh, mags are very small, so you're going to want to pick up a couple of these. Um, unfortunately, they were out of stock everywhere that I looked, so at the moment, so I'm going to have to get find a place a little bit later and pick up some more of these because they only hold 14 rounds, and yeah, 14 rounds isn't very much. But they do, they are $30, so it's not that bad, but it's, I mean, it's a little bit pricey. Maybe pick up two more. So, overall, nice gun, nice build. Uh, very impressed with this KWA product. Uh, pick it up if you want a nice pistol. That is uh, pretty awesome. So, see you next time. Look forward. F yeah, look forward to a accuracy test and a uh, after field review of this gun <clears throat> so yeah hope you enjoyed hope this helped see you